Hey, Radman, just want to say, man, big fan of your YouTube channel. Keep up, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs>
But as we move on later on into the race, you can see the gap in the bottom right hand corner. We are pulling away again. No competition. The only competition is the lap cars. So here we come to our first lap car. He gives us the bottom and 11 car again. Thank you very much, whoever you were. We come up next to another couple of lap cars. We are not pushing it right now. We are just trying to be very extremely careful. Uh, this guy will not give me the bottom. I don't know where he wants to let me go, but apparently all these lap cars, they don't want to let anyone go. As we have trouble in front of us, we slam on the brakes and just get through. We are ba I am not even trying at this moment to even drive a a fast at all. I'm literally just trying to not get wrecked, and I'm the freaking leader. And these lap cars have no idea where they want to go. We try going on the bottom again, but we have more trouble with a car to the high side and there is literally nothing we can do because we don't we can't trust the guys that are around us I keep peeking low on this eight car he finally gives us the room and we pass him and we're able to just continue on but again the trust level is very low here we come up on a, a wannabe Mike Skinner in the four car and uh, again not wanting to let us go we're running around him behind him for about two laps I wanted the top lane, we go here through 3 and 4, uh, and or 1 and 2 I think, we go through 1 and 2, he still does not want to give us the top lane, so I go high again trying to show my intent, he just stops in the middle of the corner, and we get a contact penalty for that, which is absolutely ridiculous because I cannot help you for being as slow as a turtle. We look at the replay, and you can see here, I get a nice run, but I had no idea that he'd be that slow so even when I got on the brakes as you guys uh, will see here I'm on the brakes look at that I get off the throttle there and I'm on the brakes before I ever touch him and he I don't think he ever got back in the gas I honestly don't think he ever got back in the gas I was off the throttle when I was about half a car length behind him on the brakes when I was near him but it does not matter as we turn him and we get the contact penalty for that, which is going to knock our safety rating down, which is going to hurt us when it comes to going up through the classes. And as this continues on, we come back to more lap cars that will not let us go. And here comes the 15 again. I don't understand. I'm the leader. You guys should know I'm the freaking leader. And you guys are making it very difficult on the leader do not know what they are thinking there's nowhere to really pass because these guys are running the middle so if I go low are they gonna try to block me if I go high they might not see me and I need to get a run coming out of the corner if I go high so I might run to the back of them like I did to the four car so these guys will not give up a lane for some reason we try going on the bottom of 15 but I did not want to risk it car was a little bit too tight I didn't know if these guys had fresh tires because if they pitted I was still on my old tires I started the race with he's racing with the four and uh, we have to come back with the four again and try to pass him again. I try to show my intent. Uh, he wants to run the middle to the bottom, so now I know his intent. He will not let me pass. So we go to the high side. I try getting a great run coming out of this corner. We dive bomb that shit coming in, coming out of turn four. Get below him, but he wants to fight. He still won't let us go. We get a little bit tight. We make a little bit of contact, and he still wants to fight, but we are able to pass him. I don't know who drives that four car, but I'm the freaking leader, dude. You don't have to fight me. There's no need. There's no need. We have more wrecks going on uh, down below, and this is just absolute mayhem and chaos of what the lower classes is, are in iRacing with no cautions. Thank you to whoever that guy was, because he got out of the way. He literally just drove himself straight into the wall. You are the real MVP. Thank you very much. We come up against more lap cars as we go further on in the race. You guys can see the gap to the leaders. Now we come up to a lap car. Listen to this guy. I love this guy. Just listen. What lane you want, Noah? That is what lap cars are supposed to do. Ask what the what lane I want. I told him I want the high lane. He said 10-4. Look at that. He pulls down low, gives me the high lane. That is what you're supposed to do. That is exactly what you're supposed to do to every single lap car in I racing. To Austin, thank you very much. And to every lap car, I appreciate that. This guy had the same kind of intent. He, it, we just got a little bit close. We just got a little bit close. And to be fair, I told him, can I have the high lane? I didn't know if you heard me. He did hear me, so then he went low. So I appreciate that guy. White flag is out. We are one lap away from our first win in iRacing. We cannot, we don't have to be Chase Elliott anymore. We can actually win a race before Chase does. We come out of turn four. We have a 10 second lead. It is over. We win our first race in iRacing. 
done complete though we did not have to really battle for it we just had to survive and somehow not wreck which is by far the hardest thing to do we come in we got the fireworks blaring around i honestly didn't know if i could do burnouts because i didn't want to get a contact penalty we win the race by nearly 10 seconds and every uh, and only the top three cars were on the lead lap uh that shows i guess the weak weakness of the field but we win a race before Chase Elliott does, and we can actually say we now are no longer Chase Elliott because we actually are winners. Guys, if you like the video, make sure the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment, but comment down below to every single lap car, and to, to Austin and to Brandon, who said he uh, follows my channel at the beginning. Thank you, Brandon. To Austin, thank you so much for getting out of the way and other lap cars. To many of the lap cars that don't get out of the way, I hate you all. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Peace out. Even if I tried, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I tried, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.